Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Uh, as you can see, not in the shed today. And today, as you probably see by the title of the video, I'm going to take a trip to my local sawmill to pick up some cheap wood. So let's get going. If you haven't got access to free wood, then this could actually be a good source for getting some really cheap wood. Now you'll find that some sawmills will actually give away off cuts of wood totally free. Uh, there's one that I used to visit down, down in Birmingham, which was uh, all the off cuts you could just help yourself to and they just asked for a charitable donation. My local mill up here in Cumbria and I'm just driving across to a place called Longtown, which is about 10 miles away from where I live and they basically buy in freshly felled trees and cut them all up to produce things like fence posts and all sorts of things like that. I believe they may also do some kiln dried wood as well. Now one of the good things that I've had from there in the past is that every now and then you can actually pick up some lengths of things like Spotwood Beach. Now because they buy in freshly felled trees they get an awful lot of offcuts and they sell those usually for firewood. There's a new law coming into the UK, uh, I'm not sure whether it's this year or next year, but they're basically banning the sale of wet firewood uh, to, to people in bags. I think they're going to still allow it if you're selling over two cubic metres, but they then have to sell it with a warning to try and cut back on all the emissions that it's being produced from burning wet fuel. It's a great source of buying cheap wood. Uh, it's wet green wood and I think the last time I came here I only ever come here about once or twice a year and you basically fill up a sack yourself and it costs you about four pounds a bag so you get a fair bit of wood for four pounds. Now the thing is though because they are a working mill you have to come on a Saturday morning because otherwise there's machinery driving around and you can't physically go around and pick up the wood yourself. Busy here today. Now I've just been into the office just to explain that I'm after some wood for wood turning and grab some bags and it just basically said wander around and help yourself. Now he did just take me through the mill and everything because he thought he'd got a whole load of Spalton Beach there but there's none there. So I'm going to have to park up here somewhere and go and have a look. And we've got about four bays like this. Uh, some other odds and ends here. And he does have a container, he said, have a look at as well. Which has got all manner of things. Looks like some burls there. I don't know what that's actually off. Oh no, 
vez. Ah não, isto é tão... Which I think that's what I'm going to have. There's some big pieces here as well. Now this is the sort of thing that you get all these off cuts which are really wet and you can help yourself to these fill up a bag for about four pounds so there's all manner of bits in there let's see silver birch Just looking for anything interesting. And you used to get a lot of like square pieces as well, uh, oak and all sorts. Um, just have a hunt round at each of the bays first. I think, or not. And I think these are more softwoods for the looks of it. Yeah, these are more like your pines. So these, that's oak or ash. Nice. So it was that. That's nice. Now these look, may look really dirty, but by the time you actually turn them down, you get some really nice pieces of wood out of them. That's a piece of oak. That's a nice spindle. chosen here is the one big block uh, just has the piff on the edge there M mainly spindles and a couple of sl slabs there which will make platters
So we've got one bag of wood there and the bow. Obviously, how well you pack it is how much you can get in there. Now I've just literally come back from the mill, unloaded the car and brought things in the shed here so we can just have a look to see what I've got. Now the important thing is because you're paying by the bag, pack the bag nice and neat, you'll get an awful lot more in there for your money's worth. And in the end, all of this lot, I just went in and just uh, normally I've paid four pound for the bag and I picked up a small burr, should we call it, call it a fiver. If you think I've got any of these wrong or know the different species, what I'm about to show you, then please, please do let me know. I have no idea what this is. Um, it's quite heavy. Uh, we're not, f the edge of the pith is on the side here. So it's not far off the pith there. So it should be hopefully okay. Uh, it's a nice big spindle there, probably about three inches square. And obviously you can see the length there and it's really, really wet. I have this slab and I'm not sure that looks very much like oak, the way that's going through there. That's just under 13 inches, 325 mil by 13 and a half inches, which is 350 mil. And we're talking two inches, 50 mil thick. I've got another slab, small slab here again i think that is oak nowhere near as big so we're talking i'll do these in inches it's quicker just over six inches by 12 and a half by inch and a half now i've got a few spindles uh, that i'm definitely sure looks like oak uh, so it's another nice size so we're talking just under three inches square two and three quarter by just about a foot long another nice thick one that's quite heavy again to me that looks like oak again and we're looking at three inches by 14 inches so another another nice piece uh, a small piece this time that again looks like oak to me uh, three inches square by eight inches long another one again that Again, not sure whether that's oak or ash, possibly ash. Uh, it's very much like this smaller slab I'd got, just over three inches by 12 inches. Bit of an oddball piece, this one. Uh, that's really very wet this side, been sat in a puddle. Two and a half by three by 10 inches. A longer piece that I'm sure is definitely oak. Got a knot inclusion. Up on that piece there two inches by about 18 and a half inches and that I'm not sure that could possibly be oak. two inches again by 20 inches long a small slab there that to me looks like oak uh, probably the smallest of the slabs just over six inches by nine inches by just under an inch and a half. The final piece out of the bag is this big piece of oak. Now the only worry here is we've got the pith just coming on the edge here. So we're six inches there by just under seven by about nine and a half inches. And of course the bit that I went and got out of the shed was this burr which effectively I paid a pound for. Now I have no idea what this is so please please do let me know and look at the pattern in there i have no idea what to make out of this again please please do give some suggestions so as you see it's a trip to the local mill they're dotted all over the country now, now a lot of the mills will not take in newly felled timber like this one does where you get all your really wet off cuts a lot of them will probably be buying in really massive pieces of already um, sawn wood and then cut them down to customer sizes but they even those are little gold mines to go and find because they'll often not have a bin full of offcuts now of course these these mills are there for selling the bigger products which is where they make most of the money all of this a lot of this is waste wood that they can't really do anything with so they will often sell it as firewood which is why you can get it very very cheap as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the government are bringing in a new law 
Now, this was on the BBC News website yesterday, which I spotted. So that was 21st of February, and the headline is Wood burners, most polluting fields to be banned in the home. And the short of this is owners of wood burners, stoves, and open fires will no longer be able to buy house coal or wet wood under a ban to be rolled out from next year. Sales of the two most polluting fields will be phased out in England to help cut air pollution, the government says. Bags of logs sold in DIY stores, garden centres and petrol stations often contain wet wood, a type of wood which produces more pollution and smoke. Plans for the ban were first announced 18 months ago, but the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs have now confirmed it is going ahead. Now, when I spoke to the, the owner of the mill there, uh, really, really nice old chap, he just said it's crazy what they're trying to do. They don't see how they're going to police it. While I was there, it was actually quite busy this morning when I went there, and there was several vehicles coming in. Some were trailers, just small trailers, and Digger would come along, pick up a whole scoop of the wet wood, and just drop it in the trailer. Hopefully you can see, for £5, I have... I mean, if this was all dry wood that you went and bought from your local place, I suspect there's probably £100 worth of wood there, which I picked up for £5. If a lot of this cracks, then so what? It's You've not lost much money. I have 12 pieces of wood here, plus the big burr, for £5. Next video, I'm going to probably start doing something with this wood to turn it wet, just so that you can see what can be done straight away, so that you don't have to sit it somewhere in your shed for a year or two before you touch it. Thanks a lot for watching.